Susan Kalman. Hi, Captain. Hi, Susan. <laughs> like millions of Brits, I love cruising. And you're coming with me on my next adventures. Cheers. So jump on board for boatloads of fun. Okay, hold on, I'll do a coquettish leg. Oh, that's good. <laughs> a whole lot of sun and some epic destinations all around the globe. Hello! Oh, I'll wait to see the Statue of Liberty. With plenty of highs. I'm still on top of Occasional low. I can see why you told us to sit down now. And a surprise in every port. There, 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 over there, over there. So, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's go cruising. On the first leg of my summer holiday cruise, I had a breathtaking odyssey around Greece. It's magnificent. I walked in ancient footsteps. Oh, wow! Yeah. And went hunting for heroes. I look like Jason Statham. This Greek goddess has got one heck of a story to tell. And now my adventure on the Morella Explorer 2 continues in Montenegro and Croatia. Let me find the spot. I'm overcome trying out a glamorous new look. The full Grace Kelly. Reach new heights in a beautiful old city. Oh my goodness. And spend rather too much time on the throne. I don't think I've ever been so happy. On this leg, we travel from Corfu to the Bay of Kotor in Montenegro. Then it's a short hop to Dubrovnik in Croatia before we sail around 250 nautical miles to complete our adventure in the north of the country at Rijeka. One of the biggest joys of a cruise is waking up to something new each day. And this morning, that something is utterly sublime. Last night, I read my little cruise magazine that comes through the door. I always do, you always should. And it said specifically, set your alarms early. You'll get some incredible views as we sail into Montenegro. And they weren't wrong. The majestic Bay of Kotor is often called Europe's most southerly fjord, and the rugged mountains certainly lend it more than a touch of Nordic glamour. The deck is buzzing with people because it is absolutely extraordinary. I'm going to find some people to talk to to see how they feel about it, because it's unlike anything that I've experienced before. I've been lucky enough to see quite a few places on my travels. But what do first-time cruisers Michelle and James make of this amazing sight? So peaceful, so tranquil, yeah. you know, early morning with the sun rising, it's just unbelievable. What a location to cruise into. Have you experienced a fjord before? Uh, no, this is my first, first fjord. My first fjord. <laughs> Hashtag first fjord, <laughs> yes. It's been Being fantastic, and we've got the cruise bug now. And it seems it's not just the beautiful scenery that's given this pair the cruising bug. We've got the royal suite. There's a royal suite. There's a royal suite. <laughs> this is OK, so... Well, look Can at we? Michelle. <laughs> yeah, we've got well, the... Uh, you know. Well, got the Royal Suite, Susan. <laughs> You've been waiting to drop that in, Michelle. <laughs> what, what, tell me about the Royal Suite. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Really? So, it's yes, just... It's we, I walked in, I just went, oh, my God. What it's an is apartment. this? Basically it's basically an apartment. It's the see. biggest room we've ever stayed in. No um, wonder you've enjoyed your first well, cruise. Well, yeah, exactly. Come and have it? a nose. <laughs> You're no. joking. No. no. I look forward to the Royal Tour, but it'll have to wait. 
because I'm going on my very own personal speedboat trip around the stunning Bay of Couture. Known locally as the Boca, this trendy destination has become something of a hotspot for Instagram influencers. I quite fancy giving that high living lifestyle a go, so I'm off to find something suitably chichi to wear. <sighs> nice bags. Not really a fancy bag, lady. I like a sensible rucksack that you can have an emergency kit in. But I can't risk a fashion faux pas today. I don't enjoy a flip-flop. See, when I'm out and I see someone in a flip-flop, I worry for their safety. <laughs> I'm sure there must be something safe and stylish here for me. I bet you my mum's put a scarf over her head at some point. Right. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm on a speedboat. Oh, I'm going for glamour. Do I just look sensible? I think that's all right. So what's the plan for today? What are you doing? Um, well, I've got this because I'm going, I think, on a speedboat. Oh, wow. And I thought that would make me look quite, you know... <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous, that's <laughs> it. I want it to look fabulous. So that's, uh, that'll work, won't it? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. I hope you have lots of fun. So after a quick change into my speedboat chic new look, I'm ready for Montenegro. But is Montenegro ready for me? I know, you're thinking, who's this glamorous lady in my lovely headscarf? Montenegro is all about the glamour. Super yachts, wonderful fancy people. So, as a treat to myself, I'm having a fancy day. Honestly, the folks back home will be thinking someone's doing well for themselves. Speedboat skipper Peter has been scudding around these waters for years. So I'm sure he's met more than a few fashionistas. If you don't know, an Instagram influencer is somebody like kind of shows what they've got tries to get people to live their lifestyle. Hold on, I'll give you the full effect, right? <laughs> Definitely the full Grace Kelly. I'm even pouting. My selfies aren't exactly making the splash I hoped for, yet. <laughs> but let's face it, it's the Bay of Couture that's the real star here. So you can see uh, Porto Montenegro, it's a luxury marine for mega yacht. Djokovic, for example, he used to have oh, here his yeah. yacht before he sold it. But only 16 years ago, this playground of the rich and famous was an altogether different place. It was a military shipyard, mainly from ex-communist republic, like Soviet Union, ex-Yugoslavia. So this piece of land was all surrounded by big walls. So let's say up to my 30s, I never saw this piece of town, even I was born here. Porto Montenegro draws visitors from across the world, but people from the nearby town of Perast have been making a pilgrimage to a unique island in the Bay of Couture for hundreds of years. This is Our Lady of the Rock. It's a Catholic church. It's an artificial island. In the 15th century, two brothers, fishermen from the Perast town, when they went to fish, 
They found uh, on the rock, which was above the sea, an icon of Madonna and her child. So from that period, all people from the Paris, they lie a rock, a stone here, every 22nd wow. of, of July from 15th century. That's, wow. that's how they built this. This is one of those kind of places that you see on postcards of this area. But hearing the story of it, it's really wonderful that it's through centuries of time it's been made and the church that stands there. Because that's a beautiful story of a very, very beautiful place. Coming up, my desire for the perfect pose takes me higher. Let me find the spot. <laughs> and I see how the other half live. Have you been in the hot tub? Definitely. A couple of times, yeah. <laughs> I'm on an action-packed summer holiday cruise to Montenegro and Croatia. And after a thrilling spin on a speedboat around the beautiful Bay of Kator, I've stepped ashore in the gorgeous town of Perast. Smashing start to my day of trying to be a social media superstar. And next, I'm going somewhere that I think suits my boutique lifestyle. Honestly, this is, it's like having a knitted scarf on, it's terrible. But I've heard that in this tranquil town, those in the know like to chill out at the Monte Bay Retreat. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Hi. Hello, welcome. Oh, what's this? Uh, a lovely frozen daiquiri. I've never had one before. What is a daiquiri? Uh, it's it's rum-based with a lot of melted crushed ice and a lot of lime. So we made sure it's the double dose, as you can <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa Illich was once a professional goalkeeper. He's since turned his giant hands to mixing powerful cocktails and running an exclusive hotel with what must be one of the best views in Montenegro. It's a million dollar view, isn't it? It's, I would say, 10 million. 10 million? 10 million. Absolutely. Pounds. 10 million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the best view is actually at the upper terrace, mm -hmm. uh, reserved only for our guests of the hotel. Yeah. But seeing that you're here, you're, you're going to be go? one of, absolutely. Follow Thank me. Thank you very much Come indeed. this way. Thank you, darling. When it comes to a great setting for a winning pick, things don't come much better than an infinity pool. Oh, wow. And Sasha wasn't wrong. That is a 10 million pound view. It really is. Like every good influencer, I brought my swimming costume, just in case. Back in a minute. It's raining, and I think a shot of rain in an infinity pool in the sunshine, that's like, do you know what I mean? This is going to... Make this look brilliant. Let me find the spot. I could really get used to this influencer lifestyle, you know. In fact, sorry, could someone call me a speedboat back to the ship? Don't know why I'm talking like this. I think that's how they talk. Making memories is what holidays are all about. And on a cruise, there's no shortage of places to make them. Whether you fancy a drink, some food, or to relax by the pool, there's always something to do. You can play around of some people call it crazy golf. I call it 
gentle holiday golf. So I'm going to have a go. I do take these things very seriously, though. I'm up against Debbie and Alex, a.k.a. Double Trouble, in a best of three challenge. Still me proud, Beb, still me proud. Let's play golf. Well, that was quite a swing, Alex. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> now, that's going to be tricky. <laughs> what a shame. Gentle swing. You can do it, Debbie. That's great. Yay! Yay! First blood to Debbie. Time to show some fighting spirit. I'm going to go over the bridge. This could be the worst decision of my life. Oh, no! One way of doing the bridge. Right, Debbie, hold that. And you've got it. Don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it. I bet the crowd have never experienced sporting action as tense as this before. A winning performance from Debbie and an early bath for me. And after a quick change, I'm off for a peek around that royal suite of Michelle and James. Hi. Hi, Susan. Hi. Come on in. Do you mind? Yeah. Come on in. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's come in. <laughs> Quite something, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is stunning. Do you mind if I have a nosy around? Feel free to look around. Yeah. We'll be on the balcony. OK. Wait for you. OK, on the balcony. Cheers. That's a large balcony. It feels really spacious and light. And the, the wood panelling is kind of that old glamour feeling, isn't it, of... You know, the voyages on the sea, it's got like a 1920s beautiful art deco glamour about it. Lovely mirror so I can check myself. Fabulous as always, lovely. And into the bedroom. Now this feels a little bit weird being in someone else's bedroom, but I've been given permission. <laughs> Look at that bed. And it's perfectly positioned to look at that view. I've never seen a bathroom that size on a cruise ship. It's got a jacuzzi bath, a walk-in shower. It is incredible. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello again. Yeah. That is so special. Exactly. Have you been in the hot tub? Definitely. A couple of times, yeah. <laughs> Takes a little while to fill, but it's, yeah. uh, it's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it on before you go for dinner and then exactly. come back again. Exactly, yeah. but it is really nice. It is. It's just been so lovely. Yeah, it's been our best best holiday ever, to be yeah, honest. For a really? first, yeah, for yeah. us. Best first cruise, and it won't be the last. And it's easy to see why. I just hope that one day, I too will be worthy of a stay in a royal suite. Unlike James and Michelle, I'm a cruise ship veteran. And so when it comes to dinner, I know there are so many options to choose from. So to top off my special day, I'm treating myself to a slap-up steak and lobster meal at one of the ship's swankiest restaurants, which of course means yet another outfit. Now, I'm in Surf and Turf, which so many of the passengers have said to me I have to try. And it feels quite classy. I feel I put on kind of a. This is a fancy top to me, by the way. This is a fancy top. What you can't see, and I like to be honest with you, is um, I'm wearing culottes and my legs are quite hot, so I've rolled them up above my knees. But luckily, I've got a lovely linen tablecloth to cover them. No one will ever know. If I could give you one life lesson, it's find someone who looks at you the way I've just looked at that steak. Right. Try this. Beautifully cooked steak. Can you dip in the sauce? I, it's slightly uncouth to yell, hurry, in a restaurant, which is what I want. But I'm not going to do that because I'm a lady. Well, at least most of the time I am. And what you may need to do is leave, cos I might lick this plate. Coming up, 
Dubrovnik lays on a special welcome. And transports me to a higher place. Doesn't take my breath away. It's slowing it down. Welcome back. I'm midway through my spectacular summer holiday cruise on the Adriatic. It's unlike anything that I've experienced before. And I've already made quite the splash in Montenegro. <laughs> Our next destination, Dubrovnik, is still a few hours sailing away. So I'm going to spend some of that time trying out one of the ship's more vigorous activities. I am suited and bitted and hot patooted, and I'm joining a dancer size class. So, I don't even know what that is. I've never done it before. But do you know what? There's something quite thrilling about walking into a room full of strangers and sweating quite a lot. And it seems high stepping cruise director Ted is already turning up the heat. Yes, two, one, two. was never my best suit. But I'm living my dancing dreams. The pain is real. The pain is real. If I didn't know what dancer size was at the start of Ted's lesson, I certainly do now. Sweating in a room full of strangers has actually been lots of fun. But now I need to do some holiday housekeeping. On this ship in particular, you get one of these laundry bags and it is £14.95 for as much, and that's the key, as much as you can fit into the bag. And it is washed and folded and delivered back to your cabin Sometimes the same day, sometimes the day after. So, top tip, what you do is roll it nice and tight, like that, and then you can fit more in. It's like one of those mantras you'll never forget. Roll them, don't stuff them. And one very tightly packed bag of laundry later, we arrive in Dubrovnik. Known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, Dubrovnik was once the capital of a prosperous seafaring republic called Ragusa and is now Croatia's most upmarket destination. Ted and assistant cruise director Charlotte rarely get time to explore the amazing destinations they cruise to. And as Dubrovnik is new to all of us, I've invited them to join me for a tour of this wonderfully beautiful city. I feel like I'm in the presence of greatness <laughs> because the two of you are so integral to the ship and to the guests' enjoyment. What is it that you do? So on board, uh, we work together, Charlotte and I, yeah. to organise and look after the entire entertainment programme. So that's from the shows, daytime evening activities, musicians, make sure everyone's having a good time. Yeah. What's your normal time off like? Probably having a nice lion. And then normally I'd go out, have some local food, supermarket, get my chocolate and my drinks and all that. Have a wander, bit of a tan. What would you do, Ted? Beach day, beautiful. Or trying the local McDonald's, <laughs> you know? So, local delicacies, McDonald's. Local McDonald's, Excellent. yeah. We're going to go on a guided tour. OK. Experience the history of this beautiful, beautiful place. Is that OK? Perfect. That is Follow me, let's get all the tour, right, guys. Let's go. Go. Dubrovnik is visited by around 900,000 cruise passengers each year, and many come to walk the medieval city walls, which stretch for almost two kilometres around the old town. Hello. 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 Welcome to Dubrovnik. Thank you. Thank you. Ivan is our tour guide. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. 
This is just the first set of stairs we'll encounter on the wall. Yeah, keep the camera up, James. That's not the shot anyone wants to see. We actually have to climb 750 gruelling steps on our expedition. And we've only just left base camp. There's a man at the bottom, an American man. He says, Gee, I don't think it's worth it. He was wrong. Sometimes you have to do something you don't want to do to do something and see something brilliant. And Ivan assures us that the view gets even better the higher we climb. So is it is it just up there we're going to run? We're going up there. We're almost there. OK. Let's get to the top. Almost there. You can do it. Our ultimate destination is the Mincheta Tower, the highest point of the defences and an iconic symbol of Dubrovnik. But imagine carrying your groceries up there. Yep, I definitely get home delivery. Almost there. You can do it. And 750 steps later... Oh, my goodness. Now, if you're thinking, I couldn't do that, Susan, there's too many steps. Don't worry, that's why I'm here. It doesn't take my breath away. It's slowing it down. Gorgeous. I'll hazard a guess that Ted and Charlotte's day off has been a lot more energetic than they're used to. Beautiful. Yeah, breathtaking. The views. To get up here and see all of this mm -hmm. is incredible. Much better than going to a local McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously our time, we just like to do something really minimal. We forget what else is out there. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. You know, and we're here to explore the world. How many photos have you got, Charlotte? And what goes up must come down. And fortunately, I came well prepared. I deliberately bought the comfiest, grippiest trainers I had because if you're my height, you have to double take the steps and you want to have a good grip. Oh, I sound so young and modern, don't I? A good grip's the most important thing on a walking tour. Oh, well, wait for me! Wait for me! Dubrovnik truly is a feast for the eyes. But what about the food? Next stop, a traditional restaurant in the old town to sample some typical Croatian dishes. Hiya! Hi! Hello! Wow! OK, I'll put everything in the middle so you can wow. share and try a little wow. bit of everything. And then I'll explain. Is that OK? Yes, yes of course. OK. Uh, this is a traditional black risotto, mm -hmm. something that we eat a lot here, because we do fish a lot. You have kulen, which is a specific type of sausage. We do love carbs in Croatia, uh -huh. especially this part of Croatia. Thank God we have so many steps in Dubrovnik. I know, I feel absolutely fine about what's about to happen. <laughs> I really do. Yes, lovely. Yes. Thank you very Please much. Please enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. What do you think of all this then? It looks Stunning. amazing, beautiful. doesn't it? And it smells beautiful as well. Well, you wanted some local delicacies, so that's why we thought mm. we'd come here. I think it's an important thing to do when you come somewhere, is to go to a restaurant like this and say, well, what do you make? What, of course. What, what's the traditional food that you have? So you experience a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah it's important to learn culture and mm -hmm. other things that are going on in the world, rather than being the same as everybody else. Yes, absolutely. Very We're going nice. to finish this off. Before yes. we do, I just wanted to raise a glass to your wonderful entertainment team. And I adore watching you in action. I think you're wonderful. Aww. So here's a cheers to Dubrovnik. Here's a cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. everybody. 
and a cheers to more carbohydrates than a lady can shake a carbohydrate-shaped stick at. <laughs> Food is a great way to get to know new places and people. And while Ted and Charlotte head off to explore some more, I'm going on a personal pilgrimage of my own. This is one of the most stunning places I've ever been in my entire life. It's honestly so beautiful it makes me want to cry. If Dubrovnik seems familiar, it may be because you watch Game of Thrones, in which this cinematic location plays the part of King's Landing. Everywhere I look, I can see somewhere that featured in the show. Indeed, one of the most iconic scenes from the series is Cersei Lannister's Walk of Shame, filmed at an elegant staircase known as the Jesuit Steps. <laughs> Well, it would have been a shame not to. And Dubrovnik's Game of Thrones tour extends beyond the city walls. Just 15 minutes away by ferry lies the island of Lochrum, where scenes with the mother of dragons Daenerys Targaryen were filmed. Hiya! Oh, a man blew me a kiss on that boat. A man just blew me a kiss on that boat. Lockroom seems like a friendly place, even if it is guarded by its own little dragons. All over this island, there are peacocks. There's two there. Now, I was always taught when I was younger, because there are a lot of peacocks in Scottish castles and the like, you give the peacock space. These are pretty chilled peacocks, I have to say, compared to some I've encountered in the past. But they're all over the place. It's astonishing. The island is now run as a nature reserve, but there's been a Benedictine monastery here since the 11th century. And that's the next stop on my Game of Thrones tour. Feels really tranquil. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just have a wee seat here. didn't expect this at all. And it's really, really glorious. But I'm here to find a very different kind of seat. So I think I can see what I'm looking for through a door just over there. It's the Iron Throne. Now, I know you're thinking at home, but what house are you in, Susan? Because in Game of Thrones, everyone was part of a different house. I am a Targaryen. Now, they were the ones with the dragon. Now, the difficulty is Targaryens had blonde hair and blue eyes, and I've got uh, dark hair and brown eyes, but when you're on the Iron Throne, you can be whoever you want to be. My feet don't touch the ground, but that doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever been so happy. Now, where's my dragon? I need to get back to the ship. Coming up, spills. We don't spit it out or anything. We're allowed to drink it. Chills. It's like the Blair Witch Project. That's what that is. <laughs> And thrills. Eight and five, eight it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I can feel it. I'm in Croatia, living the dream on the last leg of my summer holiday cruise. Thanks, everyone. That's just made my holiday. Thanks so much. You see. Thank you. <laughs> After leaving Corfu, we explored the Bay of Kotor in Montenegro before moving on to beautiful Dubrovnik. 
and we're now heading to the port of Rijeka in northern Croatia. But before we arrive, there's one last activity I want to try. I love the bingo. I love playing bingo back home. I have never won a game of bingo, and I feel like today might be my lucky day. Things are cheap. You've got a bingo ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Thank what you. we like to hear. Best of luck, everybody. We're just going to rattle through. Better get my game face on because the stakes are high. And you are going to be playing for £39.60. What, 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 what? Top dollar, top money. That's what we like to see. Well, that's all the twos, it's two baby ducks. Quack, quack. Thank you, quackers. 22. <laughs> all the fours, troopy draws, 44. 44. <laughs> troopy drawers. Two and five, 25. Right, OK, it's not looking good again. Not looking good. Why do I never win a bingo? I mean... Four and eight, 48. Eight and five, it's 85. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I can feel it. Is anyone getting close? Yes. Feel it. Feel the room. Very tense. Two and nine, 29. Yes. Oh, I only had one. I had one to go. Rats. I had big plans for that £39.60. One of these days. One of these days. But I'm really lucky there's so much to see around Rijeka. This city's port is known as the Gateway to the Islands, so I've made a short trip to the nearby holiday island of Kirk to check out how people round here like to relax. So it's really lovely. It's very much a family beach. A little pop-up tent for the kids, people playing beach games as you would back home. But there's something just over here <laughs> which you wouldn't quite expect. And on Malene Beach, it's not the sand that draws the crowds, it's the mud. Said to be rich in medicinal minerals, people can't seem to resist getting down and dirty. We'd pay a fortune for this in a spa. And I've actually spotted a couple of people I recognise from the ship. Tracy, Jerry, come over here for a second. Take your time. Please don't fall in the mud. Hello, Susan. Hello, how are you? Very well, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise the accent. Where are you from? We're from Ayrshire in Scotland. Ayrshire in Scotland. Yes. What is it that drew you to this particular The mud. Thing? The mud. <laughs> my complexion and <laughs> my aches and pain. <laughs> Just hope it washes off. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I'll turn around for me. Look at that. I mean, it's perfect. It's like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> this is astonishing. Wonderful. It's the occasional slight... Whiff, <laughs> yes, but... but it's not really bad, no, is it? No, no. No, so you feel quite certain you're not going to be ostracised when you get back to no. the ship. They'll <laughs> What's like, that smell? Where's those two from here? So everyone stay away. <laughs> 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 well, listen, I've got something planned that you might enjoy. I don't know if you want to join me. I'm going to um, kind of a winery or vineyard. Would you fancy joining me? Yes, please. Kirk, the biggest of more than a thousand Croatian islands, is about more than just beautiful beaches. The island also boasts miles of vineyards and has been producing wine for more than 2,000 years. So a trip to a winery in the nearby ancient town of Vrubnik should be the perfect way to round off my cruise. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, welcome in our winery. Thank you. Ingrida's family have been making wine for over a century. And we can't wait to get stuck in. We will start with Zlachtina. Zlachtina is local wine, local white variety, which grown only here in our region and nowhere else in the world. Wow. We don't spit it out or anything. We're allowed to drink it. Yeah, yeah just, just to put a spatter on the floor. Don't judge me. I've never been wine tasting before. That is 
is absolutely gorgeous. For hard to beat. Successful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Yes. I, I feel rude going, next! <laughs> Gelatina. Difficult to say, but very, very easy to drink. Pace yourself, Calman. Jerry, you've downed yours like it was a shot. <laughs> it was very dry. I was covered in mud earlier on. <laughs> I love it. Lovely. OK, next. Now, just a wee sip. Sansigot is our most awarded wine. 20 years ago, this variety almost disappeared. So it's a very, very rare wine, this. This yes. is very rare. Yes. The taste is very complex. I'm going to smoke it. You can smoke it. Mm -hmm. Smoking. That is Christmas time mm -hmm. around a log fire. And that's what this is to me. This is a beautiful... Listen to me, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I'm, I, I, I can sense this, the smoke's in there, though, yes, isn't it? definitely. Mm. It's lovely. New friends, wonderful wine and a gorgeous island. What a perfect way to end my time in Croatia and Montenegro. What I've loved about being on this cruise is you can be whoever you want to be. Look at me. I've been... Grace Kelly, a social media influencer and a dragon queen on the Iron Throne. And all around me, my fellow passengers are living their best life too. Who have I met? Well, there was Sandra, she was in the sun. Mary, I mean, she was dancing all night long. Couldn't find Jessica, had to say, here I am. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't wanna. Be a buzz like I had last week. I must stay deep, just talk is cheap. I like Angela, Pamela, Sandra, and Rita. And as I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. So what can I do? I really bag you, my lord. To me, certain is just yeah. like a sport. In the trumpet. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. A little bit of Sandra in the sun. A little quack, bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Jessica, here I am. A little bit of you makes me your man. Mumbo number five. Next time, I take my life in my hands on a fabulous Rhine River cruise. Oh, I'm having the best time. I try out some German techno. Turn it up, DJ. What, what, what? And go Dutch with a new pal. Every time I meet you, I learn something new. On a big, blooming, beautiful river adventure. Catch all that new next Friday at 8. Kylie and Jason spill the beans on working with hitmakers Stock, Aiken and Waterman. Legends of Pop starts brand new tomorrow at 8.30. And tonight, exploring hidden treasures on the sun-soaked island of Cyprus. We're holidaying with Jane McDonald. New next. <laughs>